What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your fellow weirdo here, Tani Michelle, back at you again with another reading. So if you're new here, my name is Tani Michelle, like I said, and I'm just another spiritual astrologer tarot reader here on youtube and we are not all love light twin flames and unicorns over here so please keep that in mind and yeah so this is your pick a card reading for this coming week this is pile one this is pile two and this is pile three the timestamps will be located down in the description and the comments below if you would like to go ahead and fast forward to your pile and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into it what's going on pile one so this is for those of you that picked the first pile with this beautiful green crystal on it you guys know i'm not good with crystals so don't ask me the name because i don't freaking know so let's get into it and see what you guys have so you guys have the five of shit. I don't remember in this deck what this is. I think it's the five of pentacles, obstacles, challenges. Okay, so we have the hermit card usually, but it is solitude in this deck. We have number 18 shadow, which is the moon card usually. We have number 16 dis disruption which is usually the tower and the regular Rider weight deck. We also have Gaia, healing, beautiful. And then we also have Nomocene, the past, also beautiful. We have the elk. We also have the tiger. Spirit of the anchor, invest, solid, and stable. Masculine spirit, action, power, dominance. Okay, so this is basically everything that's going on in the world right now. Wow, okay, so I feel like you guys definitely probably have some financial worries this week. Um, there definitely is a little bit of disruption in your day-to-day, -day, it seems, obviously, with everything going on in the world. Um, you are definitely trying to control something here, and I think it's really important that you maybe take a step back and in this solitude, try to find try to see the other side of something with the shadow here um, that also goes with that trying to see the other side of something and then we also have healing in the past okay so what i think is happening for you guys pile number one this week is you are possibly healing something from the past there's going to be some kind of obstacle some kind of disruption that you first may try to control or you first may try to dominate and have power over but you then realize that instead of trying to control it it's time to work with the energy which then will give you strength um at this time um you know it's important to embrace the darkness and what i think is going to happen here is you're going to have a huge breakthrough in something something from the past or some kind of pattern that you've held on to for a long time is going to finally be broken through um so but there is a lot of stuff here with your foundation with like stability i think there is some fear around stability and you're trying really hard to hold it together because we have the elk here which is normally associated with the father so we do have a lot of like fatherly masculine energy in this pile but also a lot of feminine energy so i think you're kind of trying to find a balance between being passive and you know being aggressive basically being the aggressor being the one that takes action right so I think it's really important to find that balance for you. And it's really funny because the tiger in the this animal oracle deck is actually associated with feminine energy and the tiger hunts at night, right? So it's really about finding strength and courage in the darkness, even when things are unknown. So where you're going to find that is in internally instead of externally, pile number one. Um, also, with solitude here, you may um, want to read a book this week or learn something new this week. Look into learning something new. There is some subconscious energies that I feel like are making something kind of fall apart in your life for a reason in order for you to meet the real you, in order for you to find out who you really are, in order for you to get re-motivated, for you to find your inner courage, find your inner strength, 
find your inner determination again to do something that you really actually love to do and that's actually going to bring you joy other than maybe what you've been doing. I feel like you guys have been feeling stuck and powerless for a while because you've been really trying to hang on to the old ways or to your old life. And so this week is going to shake you free. You are going to be face to face with your shadow. You are going to be, this new moon is going to bring you face to face with the things that you haven't been wanting to deal with or face to face with who you really are in a way that is going to disrupt the current way that you've been living or the current um, the current feeling of stuckness that you've been feeling so you can finally break free and break out of your shell okay so you can finally find your true power through the darkness which is how you find true power not by controlling a situation but by going internal Okay, by going in solitude and going internal to actually deal with your fear, to actually deal with the darkness that's bothering you um, and make it your comfort zone like the tiger does, right? So you guys are doing some major shadow work this week. Uh, and if you don't know what shadow work is, you can look it up. But it's basically where you meet your shadow self, your subconscious self. Your, you know, you come face to face with this part of you that's more subconscious that, you know, does things subconsciously or that has subconscious patterns or that subconsciously reacts to things. And I actually talk a little bit more about this in a video. I don't know if it'll be up before this one, but it will be up sometime around this video. And it um, talks about basically how to stay woke AF during this quarantine. So definitely you wanna make sure you're watching that because I actually go over a lot of what I see in your reading here in that video that I filmed earlier today. So anyways, but there's definitely something that is disrupting your normal flow, okay? That is putting a barrier, a gap in the road that you are walking down in order for you to go internal. Like it's taking away the distractions, right? It's it's taking away the distractions in order for you to finally look at yourself or look at something that you've been avoiding in order for you to heal yourself and to connect more with who you really are okay it's about being real it's about being honest with yourself i'm sorry this isn't gaia it's gula <laughs> i thought it said gaia my bad but yeah it's about connecting more to who you truly are and you're going to be seeing the past and seeing yourself and your patterns in a different way in a new light which is also really really good for you pile number one and i keep being drawn to the moon right on top of this tiger's third eye which i think is really cool so it's like you're going to be able to get a sneak peek into your subconscious in order to have a huge realization so you can finally heal from something that's possibly been cycling around since like way back when which is freaking awesome so anyways that is what i'm seeing for you guys pile number one let me know down below if it resonated and we're going to move on to pile number two what is going on pile number two this is for those of you guys that picked this crystal i believe it might be lapis woolsey i can't even say it i don't even know if that's what it is but it's associated with the throat chakra okay so speaking your truth and uh, your individuality and, and your freedom of speech, your freedom of voice, speaking up about something, all of that. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what your cards are. So you guys have the solar plexus chakra. You guys have destiny, which is the wheel of fortune. You guys have wisdom, which is the hierophant. Wow. So two major arcana cards. And then we have Rejoice and Celebration, which is the Three of Cups. We have Scold the Future. We also have Lakshmi, Fortune. Wow, so you guys got the Wheel of Fortune and Lakshmi. That's not a coincidence. Wow. We also have the Fire Ants. And we also have the Bee. We have Spirit of the Castle, Fortress, Rescue, and Imprisonment. We have spirit of communication, love letter, email, text, phone call. Okay, so that's interesting because of the stone that I put on your guys' pile. There is a lot of creativity here with the solar plexus chakra and the bee. This is all about finding 
your individuality, finding your soul connection, finding your creative side, okay? Creation, self-expression, find, finding the fire inside of you, right? This Aries new moon is this week. So finding your creative self-expression, okay? Finding that fire inside of you. Now with the fire ant here, this is about kind of fire ants all orderly doing the same thing over and over again doing what everybody else is doing and so you may need to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life if you're not already um, or if you're around a bunch of other people you may want to kind of do your own thing connect to your creativity this week now what i'm also seeing here with the wheel of fortune and lakshmi which is the goddess like and is associated with fortune and like associated with the wheel of fortune is that there's definitely something that is out of your control this week, but it is happening in your favor. I also see you guys reconnecting with people this week, with friends. It may not be like together, right? Because of all the social distancing that we have going on. But even though I feel like you guys do need time to yourself to create, I also feel like there's at some point this week it's really important to communicate because we did get this stone and then we did get the spirit of communication love letter email text phone call whatever so and with the fire ant and the bee these are both very social and then we also have rejoice and celebration so i do think there could be something you guys are celebrating this week maybe a birthday or you may need to call someone for your, their birthday, or you may need to just talk to a friend this week because I do feel like you have wisdom to share, okay? So um, there definitely is some kind of like gathering here, even if it's just on the phone or through like a group phone call or Skype. It may be in person, I don't know your situation, but um, there definitely is some kind of gathering happening here that is, going to bring some kind of order, some kind of structure, higher wisdom, because we have the Hierophant and the Fire Ant, which also deals with order, ethics, and you guys, I think, are planning for your future or trying to do something to make an opportunity, right, to somehow make, you know, make whatever's happening, make the future more fortunate or make the future in a different way to change the future somehow. Um, and so far it seems like it's going to work out fine, but I do feel like you guys are people that are not liking being in the house because we have the spirit of the castle, fortress, rescue, imprisonment. So you guys may be feeling a little bit stuck this week or imprisoned this week. So that's why it's really important to socialize. Um, and it could even just be that you're socializing on social media, but it's important that you reach out to someone or someone may be reaching out to you this week. There definitely seems to be some kind of rejoice or connection happening here through communication, through socializing, all of that. I do think that friends or some kind of social events or some kind of social gathering, whether online, an online course, or just connecting with people in some way is actually going to help you get through this week, okay? It's going to help you gain some kind of higher wisdom and see things in a different way and understand that there are some things that you can't control, but there are still things that you can control. And that is the way that you react to the situation um, and which will help you get in touch with your creative side and you can start creating. You can start, you know, with the solar plexus chakra there, you can start creating and creating the uh, life that you want. But there's definitely something unexpected happening this week to do with some kind of fortunate event where something just really works out in your favor. Something brings you luck or it's faded or it seems like a coincidence in some way that brings you some kind of higher knowledge, higher wisdom, okay? That really brings a little bit more structure, order, purpose to your life. Um, and it could be through communication or creativity, like I was saying before. But either way, this looks like a really awesome week for you guys, pile number two. Um, it definitely seems like there's something here to celebrate by the end of this week. So definitely let me know down below how that ends up resonating. And we're going to move on to pile number three. What's up, pile number three? This is for those of you that picked the third pile with this 
beautiful piece of pyrite on it, which um, can usually, well, it's sometimes called the fool's gold, and it can be associated with money and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys this coming week. Okay, so you guys have hope, which is usually associated with the star card and the major arcana tarot. You guys have uh, victory and success, which is usually associated with the six of wands. You guys have the ace of cups, love begins. You guys also have the ace of wands, prosperity begins. Wow, two aces. This is looking pretty good so far, you guys. Okay, so you have the goddess Mary, miracles. You guys also have the goddess Maya, illusion. You guys have the raccoon card. You also have the cobra. You guys have spirits of the past, nostalgic, aching, old flame. You guys also have spirit of the moon, cycles, visions, and dreams. So this definitely deals a lot with illusionary kind of things because we have Maya illusion, we have the moon, spirits of the past, we have the star. So there is a quote that I like that says basically the light at the end of the tunnel is not an illusion, the tunnel is. And I love that quote because I resonate with it a whole lot and that's kind of what I'm getting from your reading here. With spirit of the moon and hope, I feel like you've probably been really doing something that wasn't true to you living under some kind of illusion with maya here with spirits of the past nostalgic aching old flame so there's maybe something that happened it could be in love or it could just be what's going on in the world or it could just be really whatever it's going to be different for different ones of you but there's definitely something that you've been i feel really stuck on like really not able to move on from or you've been really under this illusion okay and with hope here this is like finally the light at the end of the tunnel um or you were maybe having hope that something from the past would go back to normal whether it was a relationship or just like the way your life was before the world freaking went crazy and all of that um and with the raccoon here you know it's all dark and stuff the moon is all dark and so it's kind of like you've been living in the dark just waiting for things to get better or like hoping that things would get better and things are definitely going to get better so you have a reason to hope but there's also a sense of moving on from the past because the raccoon is about like basically being yourself, not wearing a mask anymore, not doing things that aren't true to who you are, embracing who you really are, okay? And with miracles here, Mary, I feel like a lot of you guys have maybe been really uh, wishing for a miracle to happen in a certain situation, okay? Like whether it's with love, whatever. And some of you guys could definitely reconcile something but kind of because you do have victory and success here. But more what I'm getting from this, since we have spirit of the moon, cycles, and you know it can be about uh, illusions as well. I feel like you guys have been under this illusion of hoping that some kind of miracle would happen and things would just go back to the way that they were before instead of seeing what's happening now as a victory, as a success, like as an opportunity, instead of looking at it as like, oh my God, this is horrible, or we need to change this, or I hope something new comes along. Like the new is already here. And that's what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups here. Like the new is already here for you to create right? The Ace of Cups, like you have to, you have to look at it and feel it as a new beginning as love is now beginning. And now you can build whatever you want with prosperity begins. Okay. This is a whole new time. This is where your victory is. This is where your success is. This is where your miracle is not being hung up on the past or hiding out, hoping that some miracle is just going to happen and, and take things back to the way that they were. Now the Cobra here tells me that this is what this is that you're learning a lesson with this right now or that this is happening to teach you some kind of lesson or if it involves a person or a relationship which I feel for a lot of you it may um, that it's happening to that person was there to teach you a lesson okay um, that it wasn't necessarily you know 
that they were there to teach you something and that it's time to basically move on. Now for some of you, it may not be a person. It just may be the craziness going on in the world and what, whatever the case may be. And it's not bad or I'm not saying you shouldn't believe in miracles. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have faith or anything like that. Like that's what I'm saying. But you may need to have faith in the new instead of constantly worrying about the old if that makes sense also what i'm getting here is that there could somewhat be um for some of you a reconciliation with from the past with the present it, yeah it may be with a person but i'm really getting something new here like maybe you forgive someone from the past and then move on um to something new or you could even be uh, recognized for something and that was because you didn't give up and you I mean I'm kind of getting a few different storylines here you guys because um, that's just what I'm getting so just take whatever resonates but with hope and victory and success like I said this is normally the star card so what I see here is that some of you guys are going to have victory and success some of you guys are going to get recognition for something that you're creating okay um, some of you are going to be seen for something, okay? And for some of you, it may feel like a miracle, but you just have to be careful with this illusion card and spirits of the past here. And I think for some of you, you may wake up from an illusion and realize that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't how you thought it was going to be, but in itself, it's a miracle that you woke up. In itself, it taught you something. It was okay, like it's gonna be okay. In itself, now you can finally move on and start over. Now you can, um, you know what I mean? Start something new. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm getting here with you guys. Pile number three. I know that was a few different storylines. So definitely let me know down below if any of those resonated. If not, you're free to pick another pile. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.